right, what up people? Today we are going to be doing a compact flash mod with an iPod mini. I haven't really seen a whole lot of people doing these, so I'm kind of excited to um, start this project. This is an iPod mini. Um, it's second generation. It's originally a 4 gigabyte model. I got this off of eBay a couple of weeks ago. I won an auction for it. And I'm going to go ahead and power it up. You can kind of see it starting to power up there. Give it a moment. Hi, several. Okay, so if you look closely, you can see that we're getting the uh, sad face icon, which means that this baby has a bad hard drive. If you listen closely, you can actually hear the hard drive clicking. So, what's cool about the iPod Mini is that you can actually replace the hard drive with a compact flash card. So I got a compact flash card off of Amazon, and um, this is SanDisk One. And so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the old hard drive out, and I'm going to put this compact flash card in there for the, um, camera's not straight. Yeah. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the hard drive out of this and put the compact flash card in here. Um, last week I did this mod with, um, this iPod Classic fourth generation. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the settings just so you can see. Um, and I'll go about. So you can see that I have a capacity of 29.6 gigabytes. I put an SD card in here. I used a CF to IDE adapter, um, an SD to CF adapter, and an SD card, or actually a micro SD XC card with uh, an SD adapter. And so put all that together and it took a lot of time to get working and I tried to make a video of me doing that upgrade, but it, it didn't go too well. Um, finally, I had so many issues with it, tr getting trying to get it to restore on iTunes, so I'm hoping that maybe with the fact that, you know, we're not going through any adapters, we're just going to be plugging in this compact flash card, that this will go a little bit easier. But there's no guarantee. So this will be a bit of an adventure. So, uh, yeah, we're going to set the uh, compact flash card off to the side here. And um, what we've got to do first is we've got to get the top and the bottom bezels off. So, to do that... I've heard of a trick where you can use like a popsicle stick and a hot glue gun to get the top and the bottom bezels off, but um, I don't have a hot glue gun, so we're just going to use this iPod opening tool. And so we're going to go ahead and try to see if we can't wedge this baby open. Look at that. Oh. Now, not only does it have clips in there, but I guess it also has um, an adhesive too, so. Fun thing in the world. Well, certainly uh, scraping up the plastic on this opener tool. That's for darn sure. Um, okay, I've kind of like wedged it in there and you can kind of see that um, there's starting to be an opening. But... This is going to scratch the top, but maybe worth it to kind of... Whoa! Did you see that?
trying to make it so you guys can see. Okay, well, we're definitely getting at least part of it out. Um, yeah, we're kind of breaking the plastic opening tool here, but. Giving me massive anxiety. Ouch. Well, you can see we've got like part of the top bezel off. Chipping off the little plastic tool here. Oh, wow. Hi. All right, here we go. Here we go. And... Okay, we have succeeded in getting the top bezel off. Go us. All right, now... We get to try the bottom. Nervous about the bottom. got my camera plugged in and charging right now so I um, had to move the cable aside there so that way I didn't keep bumping it and accidentally you know okay Poor baby's kind of scratched up anyways. Um, hey, look at that. And we've got the bottom bezel off. Sweet. All right. So now that we've got the top and the bottom bezels off, we've got to try to... Um, basically, we have... Our two next steps are there are a couple of uh, tiny screws in here. And so I've got to take a little Phillips head screwdriver and try to work those out. And then we also have this like clip thing on the bottom that's kind of securing the motherboard in place. And so we've got to try to work that out. Um, so we're going to go ahead and maybe that was not the best thing to do. I trust myself a little bit more to try to get the uh, thing out, this thing out first. So we're going to try that. And then maybe if, you know, things aren't going too well, then we can try the... That is the click wheel connector. So let's not... giving me anxiety. Okay. 
Okay, sweet. Um, we've got that off. Seems like we bent the things a little bit. So we're just going to try to use these pliers and flatten them back out here. see so I bent these little a couple of these metal clips while trying to get these out so um, I'm just kind of taking my pliers and kind of trying to there we go oh that way okay so we're gonna set that aside now, um, we don't want to use the flathead screwdriver because these are actually tiny little Sorry, I got distracted. My little headphone jack thing. Um, you can see those tiny little screws and we're going to try to get them out. Um, let's see what drivers I have in here. It took me like forever. Um, everyone kept telling me that they thought that uh, Walmart would have the precision tools that I needed for this project. Um, but I didn't believe them. It turned out that they were hiding beneath the wrenches, like literally beneath the wrenches. But I got them. Which is good. Um, now you can see that these screws are actually like really tiny and I don't want to lose them so I have this um, uh, it's like basically like a green little, drop that, um, it's basically like this green little dish thing, uh, you can find it in the travel aisle, I think it was like two back for 99, for like 97 cents or something but I'm just going to use that to, that is the flathead screwdriver, I'm just going to use that to hold the screws so that way I don't lose them while we're doing the conversion. So, I'm gonna... Now you can't really see it, but one of the screws is starting to come out. Another. It's not a Phillips, but the blade might be. Okay, so this is definitely a lot harder than it looks. We've got like a mess of screwdrivers here, and looks like the screw might be starting to come up a little bit, but also not really.
Okay, so after kind of like trying to finagle with all these little screwdrivers, I did a little bit of research online and I found out that um, apparently these are size 00 Phillips head screwdrivers and that's a problem because I don't have a size 00 Phillips screwdriver in my little set. So tomorrow morning before class, I'm going to run down to the hardware store and hope that they have a screwdriver small enough so that way I can um, keep this project rolling and hopefully get something working in a couple of days. So um, I will keep you guys updated on that.